Hi there, it's Tim from Oracle Base. .com. If the optimizer can see an opportunity to remove a table from a query without affecting the result set, it will do so using join elimination. We'll start by creating and populating a simple parent table. Next, we create a child table. Notice the parent ID column is used in a foreign key definition pointing back to the ID column in the parent table. We've also created an index on that column. The mandatory foreign key column is really useful. Because of this, we know that for a child record to be present, the parent record must exist. This gives the optimizer information to make some clever decisions. Assuming there are no additional filters, a join from the child table to the parent table will never reduce the number of rows in a result set. So if no columns from the parent table are referenced, Oracle can remove the table using join elimination. The final part of the setup is to insert some data into the child table and then gather statistics. This query contains a join between the parent and child table. Notice there are no references to the parent table columns in either the select list or as filters in a WHERE clause. If we look at the execution plan, we can see the optimizer was able to safely eliminate the join to the parent table. Obviously, it's a bit stupid to join tables that aren't being used, but sometimes you might have views that include tables that in some contexts are not necessary. To show this, we'll create a view that joins the two tables and references all the columns from both tables in the select list. Provided we don't make any references to the parent table columns, either in the select list or as filters in the WHERE clause, we're still able to do join elimination. By adding the no merge hint to the query, we can see the view in the execution plan. If we add a parent table column to the select list, we'll see the join can no longer be eliminated. In this case, we're referencing the ID column from the parent table, but we're still getting join elimination. The foreign key definition allows the optimizer to understand the relationship between the two columns. As a result, it can rewrite the query so that it no longer references the ID column in the parent table, and instead references the parent ID column in the child table. This means we can still see join elimination. If we drop the foreign key, we can see that join elimination is no longer possible. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box. Like the video if you liked it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.